as Nigeria joins the rest of the world to celebrate this year's World Milk Day, the Central Bank of Nigeria says the World Milk Day Conference is indeed an avenue to strengthen and foster alliances and expand the opportunities in the subsector to the global field. According to CBN, this will no doubt offer new opportunities towards more viable and sustainable financing strategies for the dairy businesses in Nigeria towards self-sufficiency. Speaking on Thursday in Abuja, the Director of the Department of Development Finance, CBN, Philip Yusuf, at an event organized by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Commercial Dairy Ranchers Association of Nigeria, Abuja Chambers of Commerce, and Industries, Sahel Consulting Agriculture and Nutrition Limited, Agricultural Correspondent Association of Nigeria, and Center for Journalism and Innovation Development. Yusuf stated that CBN is committed to the development of the livestock subsector as evidenced by its interventions in facilitating funding for numerous projects under its commercial agriculture credit scheme, agribusiness small and medium enterprises investment scheme, real sector support facility differentiated cash res- reserve requirements to the tune of over 40 billion naira. The bank has engaged local and international partners to implement its daily venture development initiative towards ensuring value linkages by facilitating private sector-led project financing for the uh, daily sector development in Nigeria. Uh, we would like to acknowledge the key role of CODA uh, in our efforts towards facilitating daily value development. We will also recognize the potential of this well interested collaboration to drive our common goal of breed improvement and sustainable increase in milk production to reduce the milk supply gap of 1.1 billion metric tons. Because currently we are only producing 600,000 metric tons and uh, the total, uh, the current demand is 1.7. So we have a gap of 1.1 million metric tons, which in collaboration with other stakeholders, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and other relevant stakeholders, we want to ensure that that gap is closed through local uh, production. Earlier, the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, NS Umaike, stated that the ministry, through the Bank of Agriculture, will be providing financial empowerment to livestock farmers to enhance their productivity and resilience. The ministry under the Dairy Development Program is collaborating with national and international stakeholders, such as Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mrs. L and Z, Mikopa, Sebore, Delhi Frost, Kano Dairies, FC Wanko, Ala Foods Limited, Danone Limited, among others, to promote commercial and peri urban smallholder dairy production. Why not lose sight of improving the productivity of pastoralists that still form a bulk of meat production in Nigeria? This collaboration in particular is yielding fruits with increased interest in modern meat production in Nigeria. Other stakeholders, National Presidents of Commercial Dairy Ranchers Association of Nigeria, Kodaran, Mohamed Abakar, said Kodaran has been in the forefront of creating enabling and business-friendly environments for the dairy subsector in Nigeria. It has been at the forefront of creating an enabling and business-friendly environment for the dairy sector in Nigeria and the World Milk Day. And the World Milk Day Conference has been one veritable platform which we have used to pursue this noble goal. The World Milk Day Conference is the flagship event of our dear association. And over the last two years, we've been consistent with using it as a medium to bring stakeholders in the Nigerian dairy ecosystem together to reflect and consider transformational strategies for pursuing and attaining sufficiency in milk and dairy products. For the 2023 World Milk Day celebration is sustainable dairy, good for the planet and good for you. Tomorrow we'll be looking at financing this very important aspect of that part of agriculture that contributes somehow immensely to climate change and is also impacted by climate change, which is the livestock.
we are focusing on financing dairy, sustainable and scalable financing for our dairy industry. It is the idea of the stakeholders that there should be an increased investment to drive the growth of the Nigerian cattle industry. Anit Patrick, Core, Civil News, Abuja.